thank you for joining with us again on another one of our Pray TV programs. I just find being in the presence of the Lord the greatest delight of my entire life. There is nothing that can compare. There is nothing that I even want at all more than just being in His presence and enjoying Him. And, and I love being with you. I love having the opportunity to be able to share with other people about the goodness of God and, and His faithfulness in our lives. And we've been looking over the last few days, as you have been, some of you, watching along with us as we journey together in our prayer program, we've been looking at Colossians chapter 3. And today we're looking at Colossians chapter 3 and we're looking at verses 15 through 17 in the New International Version of the Bible that says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. I love when we read these portions of God's Word. It is always something of a great delight to my own soul. And I just find that His presence settles on the reading of the Word. His anointing is there as our portion. I love what it talks about here about the peace of Christ ruling in our hearts and also the fact that we are called to peace. We live in a world that is very topsy-turvy. We live in a world that is, is very disrupted right now. We know that. If you have your eyes open, you'll see that. You can't hardly avoid that reality and the reactions of people around us. If you watch the news at all, which I've cut back a lot on watching the news because the news seems to be so tumultuous, so much of a tinderbox, so to speak, with all kinds of activity happening that just stirs up your emotions, stirs up your feelings. But I know that God wants us to be able to be people of his presence and people of his peace. I can't deny the fact that I'm not always at peace. When things go wrong, I get tense. When things become diseased, I find myself getting caught up in those moments. But that's why we have these prayer programs. That's why we encourage one another to love and good works. Because we, we're, we're called to remind ourselves and remind each other of the things that God wants for us to live in. We know that there is all kinds of manifestations of sin that take place. And one of those things is a haughty spirit or, 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 to, or to temper kind of things. There are some people who have uh, a lot of issues with temper. I'm not here to judge. I know that I have something inside me that can, can rise up in, 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 in kind of rage, but by the Spirit of God, I really am grateful He has helped me to be able to quell that for the most part. I do experience anxiety sometimes, and I know I have to put that at the feet of the cross. God wants you to do that. He wants us to encourage each other in those regards. Again, we go to prayer. We read the scriptures. We stand on his promises and we encourage one another to, to really draw close, allow the spirit to bond our hearts, and let the Holy Spirit just really do the work that he's, in, he's desirous of doing. He is desirous of blessing us. He is desirous of having us be able to reside in that, that place where, where his rule is in our lives. He is the ruler of the universe. We let him come in. We allow him. And when we do, he brings 
the fruit of his spirit to bear. He causes those things to be nourished and grow up in us. So I'm going to read it again from Colossians chapter 3. And this is verses 15 through 17 in the New International Version of the Bible, where it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I'm going to just ask that God would just encourage us to pray, to pray with one another, to allow the Holy Spirit to just guide us into more and more of his centered peace, his centered presence. So as we pray, just let the Holy Spirit draw your heart towards the Father. Holy Spirit, we thank you that this moment we lift our souls and we lift our hearts. We draw close to you. You've promised that if we will draw close to you, you will draw close to us. Lord, we want to know you. We don't want to just know about you. We don't want to just fill our heads with knowledge. Father, we want to know you and the power of your resurrection, the fellowship of your suffering, be made conformable unto the death, even the death of the cross, because Lord, we know that in those things we find life, new, new life. Lord, you've said that whatever we do, whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we pray in these moments. In your name. We draw close to you. We sit at your feet. We quiet our spirits. And we wait. We wait, Lord, for you to accomplish it. And as we wait, Lord, it's not a passive waiting. It's not a, a, a waiting from a distance. It's an engaged waiting. It's a waiting for your word to take root in our hearts. It's a waiting for your anointing to come flooding over our souls. It's a waiting, God, so that you can work on our behalf. Lord, you wait for those who will wait upon you. You look for those who are willing to be in your presence, stay in your presence, be nurtured in your presence. So Lord, we join that group. We set our hearts to knowing you today. We praise you in Jesus' name. And we pray all of these things that you would bless your people as they continue to persevere in prayer and let the peace of God rule in your heart this day.